you know, when it comes to what we call manifesting or creating, you have to have tools at your disposal. We have to create habits and routines. Let me share something, man. Check this out. The, 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 the ones that can create a lot in their lives, people who are good at what we call manifesting, they all have what's called a routine, a ritual. A ritual is something that you set up for yourself that every day you do the same pattern, you're on the same uh, routine or whatever you want to call it. And what that does, it actually helps your subconscious to keep a program running that will get you what you want in life. And you know the power of routine? One of the powerful things of having the right routine is the thing about routines is it creates what's called normality in your life. So what is normality? Normality is a feeling you get that tells your unconscious mind that your world is perfectly set and it's perfectly right. That's important to have because if all of you guys know this, look, the steps to create anything in your life. Here's the steps if what you people want to say. Well, Mark, what's manifesting? How do I use the law of attraction? How do I use my mind and my all that stuff? It's steps. The first step is know what you want. The second step, project it. That's all like you could do um, scripting, visualizing. Once you project it, then you get into the next step, which is to expect it. And the expecting step is the one that most people fail and they trip up. Because when you get into expecting, people kind of throw it around. Expecting, they think it's attachment. It's detachment. Expecting is looking for the results. That's not expecting. When you go to expect something, it's a state of normality. The feeling has to be normal. You have to make it seem as if you are, you have what you want already. Now, look, that sounds counterintuitive because you say, man, how can I have something I want already, but I don't have it? Because your mind says you don't have it. Well, let's t let me tell you something about your mind that you got to understand, man. You know, your mind and, the, and the, those thoughts that come into your head, they can't be you. They aren't you. It's impossible for them to be you. The observer and the thought can't be one and the same. You are the awareness of a thought. And think about this. Most of the thoughts you have, they are what? Self-destructive, maybe negative thoughts, right? So if you, if the thoughts are you, why would you talk negative or bad stuff about yourself? Why would you put yourself in, in a negative fashion or a negative swing? You wouldn't do that to yourself, right? It just goes to show you that these thoughts are coming from all different places. They're coming from your collect. They come from the collective. The collective is a, is a group of all of us that's tied. It's called our collective subconscious. So these thoughts come from there. These thoughts also come from our unconscious mind, which is illogical. They come from a lot of the programs that we were kids. They come from memory when you're a little kid. They come from seeing other people, and they are too. And the interesting thing about the thoughts is, it seems like it's your voice, but it's not your voice. It's not your voice. So you got to understand that. And when these thoughts come in, they will affect your field. Right? Your field. We feed our, okay, we feed our subconscious the thoughts and it plays out into our reality. Yep. You, you definitely feed your subconscious because your subconscious is so illogical, man. It's like, you're going to hear me say the words a lot. Illogical, illogical, illogical. What does Mark mean? Illogical. Hear the word logical, and you have illogical. Oh, means it's like the mind of a child. It's gonna it takes everything you say seriously. Get what I'm saying? So if we go back to the process to manifest, you decide, you project, you expect, and then you get into the state of normality. I'll tell you a story. Okay. With me. Um, what I discovered is, okay, let's use the lottery, right? So I played the lottery and I won the lottery. And then I'll play again and I'll win again. And it got to a point that when I was winning, I didn't feel as excited or I didn't feel the 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 rush or the drive anymore. 
at first, I thought that may be a bad thing because I'm saying, what's going on here? Why Why am I not feeling the excitement anymore? Is, am, I, am I doing something wrong here? Am I, aren't I supposed to feel this out? But I learned an important lesson. I understood that the more I did this, so actually the more you win, you get used to it. That's normality. Now when I win, there's no more feelings I can't see. It's like I expect it. And then when I start to get into that state, I notice a lot of good stuff would happen in my life. I get more positive stuff, more positive results. Things are always working out. I work out in my, in my favor besides the lottery. And then the epiphany hit me, man. The epiphany hit me. And what, what really hit me was the fact that I underst- I realized, that, wait a minute, man. It's really taking a feeling and normalizing the feeling. And then the word normalize, you get stored around. So what does it mean to be normalized? What do you, how do you normalize a feeling? Uh, you normalize a feeling by not having a feeling. Let me repeat that. You normalize the feeling by not having the feeling. What do you mean? What do you mean not having a feeling? I mean, you don't have the feeling. The feeling is neutral. The feeling is not high or low. It doesn't feel, it just feels like a normal thing. Like you're going through the routine. And I was like, man, that was the epiphany right there. That changed everything. Because of what I, what that led me to understand was that my subconscious mind lives in reality. Because reality can only exist in the present moment. So what's what exists in the present moment? Normality, normal stuff. What exists outside the present moment? Fantasy. Ah, oh, extraordinary things. Hope, wish I could. All of those exist outside the present moment. When you get into the present moment, you bring things into a normal routine. And that was the biggest game changer right there. Once you understand that, you're going to change your whole life in a great way. Once you get that, it's going to be a whole different ballgame.